Hi, so today we're going to go ahead and do our signatures. Now signatures are just the pages of your book. So the things you're going to need are your um, spine and cover that you've made. I'll put that aside for now. You're going to need the 7 8 by 8 inch spine, inner, inner spine that we made. You're going to need um, some staples and mine are a half an inch wide make sure that you know how wide your staples are you will need some score tape or some uh, brown masking tape i have all of my little tools my spatula my um, awl you'll need an awl i have my little punch paper and i'm going to have my bone folder I really suggest, if you like doing paper crafts, that you get one of these rulers. This ruler is so handy. It's an inch wide and six inches long. Now you'll need other rulers for sure, but what I like about this is, for example, yesterday we were deciding how to put in, or the last video I guess, we were deciding how to center this perfectly. And so I wanted it an inch and a half, which then I can find the inch and a half here on this side. And I put it, since this is an inch wide, it's perfect. But then it also, right in the middle, and there are markings, there's a half inch, quarter of an inch, third of an inch, five eighths, um, three eighths. Um, so it makes it easy to get things lined up just perfectly. So this is just, this is an excellent tool to have. I've used that a lot. So the other things that you're going to need are you're going to need your signatures. And I wanted to show you, this is a thinner paper than cardstock. Cardstock is just a little bit heavier. And the paper that I use to print my signatures on is an HP Premium 32. It's a 32 pound, 120 GSMs. Uh, but the Premium 32, it's a little bit heavier than just regular printer paper, but it's not as heavy as cardstock. So it makes a really nice paper for your signatures. You can find this at Staples. Um, you can find it at um, Office Depot. You can find it at Amazon and any other office supply. You can ask them for it. But this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can get it further in there. This is what it looks like. It has a cute little girl on the bottom and it tells you it's 32 pound, 100 brightness, luminosity, um, tells you the size eight and a half by 11 there are 250 sheets and i have had several of these when i do signatures so i just wanted to bring that to attention okay so the first thing we want to do and i've done it with most of my papers i've saved one to show you this is my signature so i'm going to get my cut and scoreboard out and i have already measured the white part on both sides the longer side they are 5 eighths of an inch, or the shorter side, I'm sorry, is 5 eighths of an inch. The longer side is a half an inch. So that made it a lot easier than trying to get this just perfectly in here. So I went ahead and I put it on the 5 eighths inch side. And 5 eighths. So see, I didn't really waste any paper. It just looks perfect. And so then the other thing I do, I have a mark for my half inch. I'm going to put the long side on the half inch and turn it and do half an inch. Now when I printed mine, and I'm going to warn you about this, when I printed mine, I didn't flip them properly. And so this side is right side up. When I flip it to the other side, this side is right side up. For my purposes, I'm not worried about that. I'm pretty happy with it's going to look steampunkish no matter what I do. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I will show you how to use the staples to put together your um, signatures. And this is kind of fun. I learned this from Tenna on Victoria's Design. Um, the first thing that you want to do is get your get your ruler 
and we want to be about an inch and a half from the bottom edge. Now the first one that I want to mark is the half inch and I'm actually just going to go ahead and put this a line across and then I also want three eighths of an inch which I have a quarter and then I have three eighths so I'm going to go ahead and mark that and then three eighths on the other side. So I just want to mark the first one for now because then I'm going to go ahead and take this and we are going to do a half an inch in. I have to make sure that it's lined up and I'm going to put my line and I'm going to do the same thing. I want to make there, there, and there. Yeah, just about right. Okay, so the other thing I want to do is go to the top and I want to mark my one and a half inch and then I want to mark a half an inch below that. So you can actually use this ruler and draw your line. Three sixteenths, three sixteenths. So there, I have my three sixteenths, and I have my three sixteenths on here. Now I'm going to have to erase these lines once I get my holes popped, but that's okay. So the, the next thing I want to do is, since I already have my cross hatches, I'm going to go ahead and poke holes where the lines meet. And I'm not going to make them very deep because these are staples. They're not brads. Brads are just a little bit thicker, so you need a little bit more space. <clears throat> so, and I didn't go the whole way through. I need to go at least the whole way through. Yeah, make sure that you're going through on the other side. It doesn't look as pretty over there, but that's okay. That's not a problem. That one's going to get glued into your cover, your spine. So once I've done that, then I'm going to go ahead and take my ruler, and I just have a nice pink ruler. I'm going to go ahead and erase all those lines. And my pencil is from Statler. I do have a Statler eraser. I have no idea where it is right now. Someone's probably borrowed it and they'll get it back to me later. But I like the Statler pencils. They're very light. They're just perfect for what I'm doing here. Okay, so we're done with that. So the other thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and take my um, spatula, and this is a, a Cricut spatula. And I want to separate, I need six of these, so that's, let's see if I can do it this way, one, oops, where'd it go, <laughs> I lost, no, there it is, it flipped, and two, three, it's a little bit hard to do, these are really good staples. So there I have four. are so fun to work with. I actually do like sewing signatures, but some people don't like sewing signatures, so I'm going to put that away. 
So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and take our papers and we're going to have six, six, uh, three signatures. So I have 24 papers. I want eight pages each. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now I want six, six pages. Sorry, six. Learn your math, Carla. One, two, three, four. Uh, how come I don't have enough? Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, 24, I should have 20. Oh, I only have 12 sheets. Oh, that makes sense. So I'm going to do one. two, three, four, four each. I'm sorry. Yeah, I have 24 pages, but I only have 12 sheets. One, two, three, four. Okay, so kids, this is where math in school comes in handy. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you will want to fold these in half. And the easiest way I have found to do that is just to fold them in half. I don't use my scoreboard. I don't use anything. I just use this. And I'm going to burnish it down. Now you're going to find that you have some edge on this side. And what you can do is take it onto your cutting mat with your rotary or even um, an X-Acto knife. Put a ruler here. I don't have my long ruler here. Put a ruler here and then draw to make them even. So the next set I'm going to do is this one. I'm going to burnish it down. And mine aren't too bad, so I'm not I'm not going to worry about making the, those edges straight. Although I should because I'm a librarian. But let's not worry about it. There we go. Oh, that looks so cool. So cool. I love Victoria Designs papers. Okay, so I have three signatures. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and do the same thing. And the easiest way to do that is to lay this so that it's pretty even and then mark with your pencil where the first one goes and then where the second one goes so you can check that with your ruler to make sure that it's a half an inch perfect and a half an inch perfect. Okay, so then <laughs> I need this. I don't want to poke a hole. So then I'm going to go ahead and poke my hole. And then I will move this side up. And I will poke my hole and my hole. Okay, so we've done one. Let's go ahead and put it on our signature. So take one of the staples that you've pulled apart and put both of those ends in those little holes that you've just drilled with your awl. And it should come out nicely on the other side. Perfect. Okay, so then I'm going to put this in the center holes that I've drilled here. So there will go one. There will go another. Come on. This is a little futzy. Okay. I don't think I got my hole deep enough on this. It has to be deep enough that your staple will go through. You don't want to have to fight with your staple because you'll, you'll 
you'll twist it. Okay, so let's try that again. And I'm going to put my out staple through these. And to me, I actually like sewing better, and I know people don't like the sewing. So I'm going to go ahead and put these up against here. Come on. You can do it. Now I'm holding the staple with my thumb to kind of keep it from twisting around. And I am just not getting it. Okay, let's do this one. No, I'm not I'm not getting it. <laughs> A little bit of a hard time. Okay, there we go. So once you get one of them in, you lay it flat on your desk and then use either your spatula or your bone folder and push it over and push it as hard as you can so that it will stay down. Okay, oh, look at that. We did it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice. Okay, so I'm going to do the next one. And I get these in here. Okay, and then I'm going to put it in this. And I'm going to push it down, make sure it's down. And then I'm going to close it. This is the hardest part is getting these in so there we go we have one signature in there and i'm going to go ahead and burnish these down to make sure they lay flat okay so we're going to do this with with the other two and you're welcome to stop the video if you like um, you don't have to it's up to you but what i'll do to make sure that i get it very even is i will lay my signature flat and my spine flat. I will put my spine up to my center and then I will get these in line. This signature in line with the one under it. And then I will, you know what, I am going to be very brave. Watch this. Okay. And I'm going to Let's go ahead and put this one in and this one in. Come on. There we go. And then I'm going to line it up with the middle one. Oh, that one in much, much easier. Okay, push it down. Did it get flipped over? And then I'm going to take this and push it down, just like a stapler, only I'm doing it by hand. Okay, and then we'll do the next one. We're going to put the staple inside of our paper first. Okay, that went very well. And then we're going to line it up on the holes on our spine part. This is the hard part. This is this is the part that gets me. Okay, there's one. Come on. I am just not very coordinated with this. <laughs> Did 
so don't feel bad if you're having a hard time with this. This is this is not an easy skill to do. I actually feel like maybe my holes are a little bit off, so I'm going to play with this just a little bit. just right. I might not have gotten the holes far enough. I think that's what it is. So let's push them just a little bit more. And this is one of those things that you just kind of have to futz with. Just kind of play with and do your best. And go slowly and don't get frustrated. It will work. Take your time. Okay, I'm going to pause this. Go ahead and do yours and then. We'll... Okay, so I have all of my signatures in. Um, what I had to do is make my, my holes on my spine just a little bit bigger so that they would um, go through a little easier. So there's all three of my signatures, and I'm going to burnish them all down really well. Open them up and burnish them both ways so that they will fl flap open like a book. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to go ahead and get our spine and you want to make sure that you have the top of your your book pointing up so that you can keep your direction straight. We're going to go ahead and take off our score tape. And remember, I had to put a second layer on there because I forgot to put the, the glue on before I was ready. Yes, last time, last video we did. Most of the time there's a workaround, except once you've used glue, you're kind of done. Glue starts to stick. And if you get it quickly enough, sometimes you can get it to um, come back up. But rarely am I able to do that. So I want to make sure that I have them pretty much going straight up. And I'm going to put glue on my spine. And I want to cover this pretty well because I want to make sure this sticks. Okay. So, I am going to center this as best I can. Because we want just a little bit of the one inch showing. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and go down through the sides here and burnish it to make sure these kind of stick really well. Okay. And I will let it dry, but for now I'm going to show you, there we go, we have these signatures, you can write in them. And then the last thing that I'm going to have you do, which I think you can do by yourself, is we're going to cover this. And so you will cut it just the same way you did these, and glue it on. Try not to get on top of your, um, your brown, but keep it on this paper. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been quite a challenge, and this came out. So I am going to use some score tape just to get it to stick a little better. I did not like the way this went in. I would have been happier, I think, with sewing my signatures. I really do like sewing signatures you, you, it, for me, and this, again, is a personal preference. Not everybody likes sewing signatures. 
So I'm going to use score tape. Make sure it's burnished down really well. And then I'm going to take off the top. And I am going to put just a little bit of glue on top of that. Um, the glue will last longer than the score tape will. The score tape will break down faster than the glue will. Okay, let's do it again. And actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put some tape over the... Ow! That was a staple. Yes, I scratched my hand. Oh, I got blood on it. That was so nice. Okay. I'll take these off too. And not everything I try works out really well. Just remember that I am not nobody's perfect. If you find someone perfect, would you let me know? I would like to meet them. <laughs> so please don't feel bad if things go awry. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's going to stay so much nicer. Yeah, there we go. So the other thing is go ahead and decorate that. And then... Your book will be done. Meet me the next time. We are going to make some smaller projects that are going to be just fun for decorating around the house for your Halloween. Thank you for joining me. Please come back. Don't let this scare you off. We fixed it. Thanks. Bye.